What is up guys? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Javier and this is the new studio. It didn't really look like this in the beginning, but wait till you see the behind the scenes and how it actually came into fruition. First day of the new spot. It's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty much this area in here is gonna be the entrance, the main studio area. That wall right there is gonna be taken out. So that's not gonna be no longer there. And then this room is going to be all together. So it's gonna be one huge area. Started the deconstruction. It's a lot of cable here. Apparently, this used to be like a medical facility or something. Bunch of cables, phone lines, and everything. A lot of work. This is crazy. So right now, you're gonna hear a little bit of a noise with the fans, um, but we just painted the floor. Looks really cool. Got some new lights going up over there. Got some new fixtures over here. Still don't know what we're gonna do over here, but uh, it's gonna be cool. Ceiling got painted, backdrop back there. We're gonna have a small little area right here. We're gonna put wood on that wall. It's gonna be really cool. Got a little surprise for that one didn't realize that we ended up gaining some shelf space because now that little area I'm gonna cover it up and paint it and put some shelves in there so that's gonna be an extra storage that I didn't even expect to have. So for right now this is gonna be my office over here so this is how it looks like right now hopefully it's gonna turn out to be looking really cool pretty soon. This wall over here, this wall right here, this wall right here is gonna be all brick. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Just wanted to give you a small little area, a small little taste of the behind the scenes. Keep checking it out. I can't wait for this place to be done. We already got um, some of the paint done on the roof. We did our first coat and on the floor, we did some patch up work. Now today is gonna be final run through, all the little patches are done, everything's already been cleaned up. So we're gonna finish the roof, finish the floor. This wall over here, we finished painting it white. Remember that little shelf area that I talked about? That little extra closet space we just gained? Well, that got painted. I'm not gonna finish doing the trim work and everything until everything is done. So we're gonna be putting the shelves after we finish painting and do the trims on there as well. That back wall is gonna be done pretty soon after everything is painted because I don't want that wood to be messed up. That's gonna be the wood wall. We're gonna be doing our podcast from there, our show and tells, our tutorials, our interviews. We have a lot of models and a lot of photographers coming up that we're gonna be doing Q and A's with them. So that's gonna be great. Get to know like how they got started, what they've been doing and what they're gonna be doing pretty soon. Can't wait for you guys to see this place. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Pretty much the studio did not look like what it is today. So I wanna take you around now to actually show you what the finished product looks like and some of the secrets that I actually talked about in the beginning and how it actually came into effect. So this little area right here is what I have, like my lounge area. Pretty much I'm gonna be doing my talking heads over here. I wanted a cool area that I could actually talk to you, have a nice little background, have some nice lighting and everything here. At the same time, be able to have my clients come over if we gotta talk about a certain project or anything like that. There's a cool space for it. Plus, just to hang out and chill and pretty much 
you know, just watch the photo shoots that are going on for family members or other people that might be coming by to see what we're doing. All right, so now I'm gonna take you around and just show you some of the spots. So remember that door that was over here on the side? So now we got a, did a little trick over here and we kind of just covered it up. It's good for soundproofing also, but if you notice, there is a door there. Like you can't really tell that there was a door there before, but just by covering this up, just made it look a little bit better. Our little treatment in the back over here was a window. We covered it up, put another curtain on there. We got our TV monitor up there. So basically anything that we shoot, anything that we do with Capture One or Tethered, we can do it on our computer. At the same time, the clients can actually see it up top. We have our nice little makeup table over here. We made sure that we put the mirror up there so the girls and everybody that's doing all their makeup could see it. But at the same time, we make this portable. That way we can actually use this table, take it out of the way and do something with it. So again, we have it here, it's out of the way, we can use it as a makeup table. Now remember that crazy cabling and all the freaking medical, whatever that was? Well, that was over here. Now remember I told you about the shelving that I wanted to do. So now we have this as a shelving area. And, oh, I can't show you this, this is later on, that's another video. So again, we have this cool little area. I actually want to put another shelf over here. Maybe put like a little stereo system or something there that way we could actually put some speakers around. You saw the actual wallpaper going up, which in photography, it actually looks good because it doesn't have any shine. It's a matte finish. And from a distance, it actually looks like it's real brick and it really isn't, it's just wallpaper. Now, as far as this location, you saw all of the drop seating. I wanted to get that extra foot or foot and a half of clearance. So I took off the actual drop seating that was there. I took off all the cabling, everything that was there. But the downfall to that is now I have concrete wall, concrete roof, and another concrete wall, plus the floor is concrete. There's no isolation in here. So what I ended up doing was putting some insulation foaming on the top or acoustic foaming on the top, also on the sides. Now, whenever we're doing some of our podcasts or we're doing anything else that does live recording, we'll bring in a couple of sound blankets just to help our, each other out. I do want to put some extra soundproofing, put it here on the side. So that's going to be coming up later. I want to add a little bit more on the top as well too. So that's coming a little bit later. So again, the studio is done, but I want to say it's maybe 95% done because there's still little tweaks, little, little things that I want to actually add later on. I'm going to take you to the lighting over here. Up here, I actually wanted to make sure that the lighting that I use, I could do for my podcast. I could actually have it lit up over here. If I'm going to be doing stuff on this side, I'm perfectly lit. I'll have no cables, no light stands on the floor. I could always adjust the power on them and it's going to help me out. Now, right now, maybe the light might be a little bit too much or it might just be perfect. If I want to turn one off, I want to turn the other one on. They're up top. They're always ready to go. So it really helps me out. Plus, if I actually have a model that I'm standing with here and I'm shooting them on the other side, the lights hitting them, I get good focus on them and it's not gonna affect my lighting because I use a lot of flash photography here in the studio. So this is great alternative to have if you could put some stuff on the roof and actually angle them up to the top. That's pretty much what you would do. Now on this area right here, I wanted to make sure it was multifunctional. So in this section, I have a photo studio. I have a podcast area. I have a show and tell. I have an unboxing. I have tutorials. I could do everything from this little section right here. Up top, what I ended up doing was putting my backdrop stand and they're all electronical. So I could pretty much just push a button over here and all my different colors come down. So right now I have blue, yellow, white, and black. And I also have my wood wall. That was another little secret that I wanted to talk to you guys about. But I have all the different colors. I could always change them out to any colors that I want. And it's a lot easier just to push a button. The colors come out like it's a little bit dirty, but that's because we actually did a shoot the other day. But it's a lot easier just pushing a button and I'll have no light stands because of the fact that I have a short distance over here from left to right. It's a short little distance. If I had a light stand, it'll take up a lot of space here. Now, I put the wood wall because of the same reason. I would be able to shoot over here, do whatever type of videos that I want to do, and I have a nice background in the back, or I could have my different colors. So I was able to put these L brackets with an extension arm, so then I can literally have my lights <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be in the B-roll. <laughs> Anything that I want to do here, I literally just adjust these, and I can move them wherever I want and eliminate the fact that I don't have any light stands on the floor. It just makes the area a lot easier for me to use and gain the space. Now, if I don't need these, I could always take these off and put a different one. 
but I just wanted a, an area that I could actually use for rim lighting, for hair light, for accent light, for fill light, anything that I wanna use, I could use these lights. I could always change the modifiers, change the lights. Right now I have some Posse Buff uh, Alien Bees on here. I could put my pro photos, I could put uh, speed lights, I could put whatever I want in these actual um, extension arms. So I have a little bit more soundproofing on top and that's mainly for our podcast. Like I was talking about anything that we do with audio, I wanna make sure that our sound is very good. Again, we have some here on the sides. Now I have my light stands. I can pretty much shoot everything I want from this location. Mainly my spot is gonna be always over here and I'm always gonna be shooting in that direction. So the space that we have right here is limited, but we try to make as much space as possible within our means. So even if you have a small location, a small studio, even a low roof, try and make the best out of it. Everything I have, a lot of the stuff is on wheels. So that way I, I can put my computer over here have it hooked up with my Tether Tools cable, be able to shoot with my client, be able to see my work, and at the same time, my client can be sitting on the couch over there and just looking at all the work that we're actually doing. So that way it kind of like separates them being on top of my camera, looking at everything that I'm doing, and I could see what I'm doing. I could be able to talk to my, my model and the client could see all the work. So try to make it as cohesive and as easy as possible to be able to have a nice workflow and not be stressed out because again, you might have five, six people in here and everybody on top of you, it's gonna be a little bit crazy. So again, we wanna make sure we make the best use out of this space and maximize your space. We pretty much maybe have like 500 square feet in here, if that, but I could do so much with this place that before I had a 2,200 square foot studio, I used to shoot cars and motorcycles and a lot of other stuff and it was a huge location. It was a lot of overhead, but it was a huge location. Nowadays, I don't need that. So I could actually use this small location and get a lot out of it. So thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for checking out my new studio. And if you guys have any questions or any ideas that you might have, please let me know. Anything that you might see that's like, hey, you know what? This would be cool if you actually did that there. That, I'm open to suggestions. Thank you guys for coming. Please subscribe. Let us know what you think and we will be having a lot more videos coming up in this channel and stay tuned for more because we are going to be doing a lot more. My lights working. <laughs> Welcome guys. Thank you for coming to the channel. This is, I don't know why I'm doing all this. <laughs> Can't wait to you guys for you see it. Welcome to the channel. This is the new studio.